Hello to everyone out there, all of the viewers. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is an all sign general read for February of 2024. <laughs> all right, if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome, welcome, welcome. If the reading does not resonate with your situation, feel free to check your moon, Venus, and rising sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. For a personal reading, the links will be posted in the description box below the video. All right. Each zodiac sign will be time stamped. So you can click on the time next to your sign for your reading. All right. Let's see. Also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up image. It helps the video circulate. Also, let me know that you support the channel. All right, let's see. Aquarius is up first. Aquarius. General read. Okay. Calm down, Aquarius. Some of you have a lot on your mind or you have a lot to say, Aquarians. Let me know in the comment section below if you have a lot on your mind or you just have a lot to say. I am not doing the... um or pulling the zodiac signs in any particular order. I am doing air signs first, then fire signs, water signs, and then earth signs in that order. All right, let's get one more. Aquarius. Okay, let me move this back. Okay, I do not, I need the space for the cards. <laughs> All right, everything is, can still be seen clearly. All right, so Aquarians, right now, <clears throat> and remember, this could be your energy or your partner's. Okay, we got the Six of Pentacles, the Six of Wands here, the Queen of Pentacles here. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, or an Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. But I feel like right now, I feel like either you or your person want victory in a, in a situation. Someone here wants to move things forward, wants progress. Someone here is wanting some attention, wanting to nurture this situation, wanting things to move forward. Okay, someone here is trying to figure out a way. I feel like this is like a strategy pertaining to how to move things forward and stabilize things. Like how can we pay attention to the things we need to pay attention to, nurture the situation, and move forward towards stability. Okay, that's what I'm getting. I feel like in the past, someone here could have been given to multiple people with the Six of Pentacles here. Given to multiple people. Something here definitely needed to be balanced out, but I feel like the issue was someone here was sharing their time or sharing their money with others. Okay? Sharing their time or sharing their money with others. And right now, again, in the immediate past, there's something here about someone wanting to stabilize this union, okay? Wanting something long-term, long-term success, wealth, growth, expansion, stability. Because you feel like home or they feel like home. Apply the energy as it fits to your story. But overall, someone here wants this to come back together. Aquarius, this is your energy. You could be confused right now. Five of Wands, you don't know... If you, um, you don't know what's going on, there could be disagreements. You and this person could be seeing things from two different views. Okay. You, what you do know is you want some type of change with this five of wands here. Five of wands, five represents change. So you do want some type of change. There is tension in the air. And I do feel like a conversation needs to take place because it looks like there's a clash of the egos. 
So you and this person both could be in your ego. And I feel like that may be the reason why there's confusion and conflict here, whether it's ver um, verbally or emotionally. In the near future, there is an opportunity to move forward. The question here is, someone here is taking their time because they have options. And I feel like this is what the problem was in the past. Someone was given to multiple people. And in the near future with this Seven of Cups here, someone here is like still in the process of making a decision or needing to make a decision on how this is going to move forward. Aquarius. You fear that if you move forward in this situation, you're going to lose some type of self-respect, okay? There's going to be insecurities. You fear that there's going to be deception, okay? Um, So I feel like with this nine of wands here, this is what's causing this inner struggle because here you are overthinking with this five of wands and I see that's that's what you're you're in fear of that you're going to become overwhelmed, exhausted. Um, you're going to be defensive. Your guard is going to be up, and I feel like it's because someone here has options. Point blank and simple. You are hoping that you're making a good investment. You're hoping that things can grow. That there is some type of productivity. OK, you're hoping that you can take responsibility for your actions in this situation and put the work in. But I feel like you are going to move slow and take your time. You are not rushing this at all by any means necessary. So I see you like really you're not like you're taking your time. You're not like moving forward. You're not moving backwards. I feel like you're standing there and you're watching. OK, you're standing and you're watching because you want to make sure that whatever conversation takes place between this person, whatever it is that they say that they're going to do, you want to make sure that that's exactly what's happening. OK, and your outcome, you're just seeking the truth. This is you seeking the truth. OK, so I feel like you're. Um, <laughs> don't laugh. You're standing on your business. As uh, T.I. son said, and then Saucy Santana said in his song, standing on business. So I see you standing on your business. You're seeking the truth. What is it going to be? Because whatever decision, is, it, whatever decision you make for yourself is going to determine um, the next steps. Some of you are going to move on from this. Others of you, you're not. Okay. But I feel like because you have this knight of swords here, you're standing up for what you believe in. And because you're standing up for what you believe in, most of you are going to move on from this. Okay. So I'm going to leave it at that, Aquarians. I'm going to move on to the next sign. Comment in the comment section below. Let me know if this is your story. The chat is open as well. So you can post something in the chat section if you want. I will respond to you. Okay, I will respond. We're going to move on to the next sign, which is Libra. All right, don't forget to hit the thumbs up image. It helps the video circulate. Let's me know you support this channel. <clears throat> Let's see, Libras. General energy for Libra. These readings are not spe um, specifically for love. This is pertaining to your finances too. So however the cards come out, whatever energy comes out in the cards, that's what I will read. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Libra. General reading. General energy for Libras. Don't forget each sign will be time stamped so you will not have to wait. Unless you want to sit through the whole, the whole, um, the all sign read, you can. I'm not turning anyone away. I appreciate it if you do. 
But um, each sign will have a timestamp next to it. Okay. I am doing the Celtic cross spread for these general reads. All right, let's see. Libra. Libra, right now. You're waiting for some news to come in. You're waiting for some news to come in. And I feel like some of you could be dealing with um, another Libra or a Taurus. But I feel like this news that comes in will determine if you take a leap of faith in a new direction. Okay? Because you're waiting on a new opportunity. Now, this could be regarding a job or a situation in love. But I feel like... Yeah, it could be either or. There's a possibility that's, that you have a new opportunity in love or work coming your way. Apply the energy as it fits to your story. And so when this opportunity presents itself, you're going to have to make a decision. Some of you could, this could have something to do with the child. I see a, a fish here in this cup. So this could be like someone here could be deciding on if they... um want to take a risk and get pregnant, or this could be you being pregnant with a new idea, a new business venture. But overall, you're waiting for a message to come in pertaining to a new beginning, moving in a new direction, okay? And in this situation, you're going to have to have blind faith and trust in the universe that this new opportunity will lead you in the right direction, okay? Okay? I feel like in the past, Libras, okay. I feel like in the past, there was um, a new passionate beginning, okay? A new project, a new opportunity. There was the potential here for something to grow. Something to, for you to have a second chance at something. For you to forgive someone for some type of redemption here. Could have had something to do with a Scorpio, Okay, they have something to do with the Scorpio, but I feel like I feel like someone here like wanted you to have mercy on them. Someone here could have been begging you for a second chance, okay, and I feel like you gave it to them. You gave it to them, and I feel like you may have told or expressed to this person, or they expressed it to you. We're going to we're going to take on this we're going to take this challenge head on, okay? So there was some type of challenge that happened in um, a union or on your at your workplace, and you decided that you were going to take it on head head. Um, you're going to face it, you know. You're going to face it head on. Like you're not going to deviate. You're not going to turn left. You're not going to turn right. You're not going to ignore or try to suppress what was going on. But I'm going to take this challenge head on. Right now with the Hierophant here, Taurus energy, I feel like you have clarity that you've gained some type of wisdom. Okay. And I feel like there's forgiveness here. And this, this wisdom, this forgiveness, this clarity that you have received, this could be in a form of you getting advice from someone or others, or this is your intuition talking to you, letting you know that everything is going to be okay. Okay? I feel like now you're able to move forward. Because in the near future with the Two of Cups here, this is you seeing eye to eye with someone, getting on the same page, having reciprocity, give and take, okay? Some type of connection or partnership is coming together, whether it's business or love. This is you and someone coming to an agreement that you two want to move forward. You fear... There's a fear here that things are going to be up and down. There's going to be a lot of ups and downs, okay? 
And I feel like you may want to maintain control of this situation. Okay? You're feeling like you're going to need more knowledge. You need more knowledge. Um, there are going to be ups and downs. Things are going to be unpredictable. And it's causing you to worry and stress because you don't know the outcome. Okay? It could be dealing with a cancer, a Pisces. Could be dealing with a, Cap a Capricorn. Could be dealing with someone with the initials of J or B. I have A, T, O, R is here. But that's what you're in fear of. You're, you're in fear that you are going to be going around in circles. And I feel like some of you are tired of going around in circles. So although you and this person have come together and you are realizing that you and this person or you and your job came to an agreement that you're going to work together to move forward. You're still in fear because you feel like things are going to continue to move in circles for you because you don't know what the future holds. You're hoping that you can win at all costs. You're hoping that by you agreeing to this, it doesn't come back to bite you in your ass. Okay, but in your outcome, I feel like there's going things are going to be successful. Three of Pentacles. This this is showing people working together, collaborating, learning from each other. Okay, security because you put forth effort to have this security. You put forth effort to reach a goal. So as long as you keep your mind on that goal, I feel like things will continue to be successful and move forward for you, Libra. All right. All right. So I'm going to move on to the next sign, which is Gemini. All right. Let me know if it resonates, Libras. You can comment in the comment section. Doesn't have to be the chat. I will respond. Okay. Let's see. Gemini's general energy. For the sign of a Gemini. General energy for the sign of Gemini. General energy for the sign of Gemini. I'm hearing one more. So we will do one more. General energy for the sign of Gemini. Let's see. Okay, that's too many. <laughs> uh, Gemini. All right, I'm going to take them. Gemini. Let's see what's going on with the sign of Gemini. That came out in a reverse. Okay. I think this is it. Yep. Okay. Gemini. Gemini. Right now, Gemini, you're in the process of making a decision to have a new passion at beginning with someone. Trying to figure out if you want to start over if you want to create a new opportunity, if you want to start a new project, this could be you having an urge to create. But for most of it, most of you, you're in the process of um, starting over with someone, starting a new opportunity, starting a new job. Okay. For some of you, you have choices in, in love. Okay. Or there's a decision surrounding you having sex with someone. Apply the energy as if it's to your story. This could be you deciding if you want to go back to that old thing. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Some of you are in the process of deciding if you want to go back to that old thing. Okay. Could be the WAP or the wine. Whichever one, apply as if it's to your story. I feel like in the past... Um, 
some of you some of you may have gotten a message that you got the page of swords and a page of pentacles here this could have something to do with children as well i see children here yeah i feel like in the past I don't know why I'm picking up like someone here was being breadcrumbed. Someone here was being breadcrumbed. Someone here was reckless in their actions. Could be you, could be the person that you were dealing with. Someone was curious about other people or other things, other opportunities, other choices. Because you do have the seven of cups here representing options. This person could have been spying on you or you were spying on them in the past. Someone was checking out someone's social media page, driving past their home because they were waiting for the right time to come in with an offer, with an to extend a, an olive branch is what I'm getting. So someone was spying on you or you were spying on them, waiting for an opportunity to come forward, to send a text message, to come forward, uh, reach out through phone call, however you communicate, a DM or social media, whomever, however, was waiting for the right opportunity to, to extend an olive branch. Now, right now, and that's why you're making a decision and thinking about if you want to engage with this person again. For some of you, this is a new person, like a fairly new person. This is, could be someone that you were dating. This person could be younger than you. That could be another reason why these pages came out in the past energy, because this person is younger than you or you're younger than them. But there's definitely some type of age gap here. <coughs> and right now, Gemini, you're just trying to figure out how to be in balance and harmony. It's... <laughs> Okay, that's what's on your mind. Like, okay, how can I maintain balance and harmony, be fulfilled? You know, um, focus on my dreams, focus on my happiness, and move forward. Okay, everything else outside of that is nonsense to me. <laughs> All right, so you're just basically being wanting to be in the in the present moment. You're not thinking about the past. You're not thinking about the future. You're focused on the present moment. I do see in the near future some type of um, disharmony or misalignment or something here is not coming together within a group setting or whatever was planned between you and this person is just not working out. I see something here not working out. So for some of you, there's going to be, if you decide that you are not engaging with this person you're not going to have this new beginning because remember you're thinking about it right now you're deciding if you want to move forward with this or not some of you are not moving forward with it and it's going to create some type of um, imbalance in this situation you're not going to engage because you have a fear that this person is going to betray you again they're going to stab you in the back and they're going to let you down in the long run. So I feel like some of you are going to take a leap of faith, okay, and move into a new direction, okay? You're going to move towards a new direction. You're going to overcome this hurt, this pain. You're going to overcome the disharmony and, and the imbalance in this union, and you're going to move forward. Because this person, I feel like this person for you, Gemini, is very tempting, Okay, with the double card, I can't show it, but this person is very tempting, could be a Capricorn, an Aries, an Aquarius. And you, and that's why this, this Ace of Wands is here, because again, what I'm seeing is you and this person had some really good, passionate encounters, really good. But this person may need to work on their shadow side. They need to do some work. They can have addictions. Okay, to alcohol, to drugs, to sex, to pornography, gambling. Someone here overindulges in things. They could have an addiction to men, women, you know, whatever. There's an addiction. Their behavior needs to change. There are some things that this person needs to release out of their system before you and them can move forward together. And I feel like with the double card coming out and the outcome, this person has not done the work that they need to do. 
So I see you moving forward and working on yourself and being in the process of manifesting something new. This could be you manifesting um, a new job or manifesting new love. Some of you are going through something on your job where it's a toxic environment. Okay, the people around you at your job are toxic and you're ready to take a risk, a leap of faith in a new direction and either start your own business, okay, or go to another job. I feel like in 2024, like people are not putting up with nonsense this year, okay? <laughs> like the mindset is different. So... The veil has been lifted, and that's that. All right, let's move on to the sign of Aries. I'm on fire signs now. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is up next in that order. Okay. <laughs> Aries, some of you need to relax or sit down. You could be doing too much at this time. <laughs> All right, let's see, Aries. What's the general energy for the sign of Aries? What is the general energy for the sign of Aries? One more. Okay. Let's see. What is the general energy for the sign of Aries? Don't forget, each sign will be time stamp. If you want to post a time stamp for your sign in the chat section or the comment section, you are more than welcome to help me out. All right. Aries. Okay, Aries, I see you're in your power. You are definitely in your power. You're thinking about how to move forward in something. You may feel stuck. Some of you may feel stuck because you may be doing too much. So your thoughts may be all over the place. But let's see. All right. I don't know. What are these two cards? Five of Pentacles, five of so six of Pentacles, five of swords. Wanted to come out. Yeah, see, some of you need to create balance right now. Because what's going to happen is if you don't create balance, whether this is socially or um within a relationship, your workplace. You need to create balance because if not, you're going to start feeling like you're losing. You're going to feel tired. You're going to feel bogged down and you're going to become very irritable. Okay. So you have to create some type of balance. Get some rest. If that's what it is, only you know your story. But right now, I feel like you're determined. Again, <laughs> you are determined to, to create something. You're passionate about something. This is a new idea, and you're determined that you want this to come to fruition, okay? You may be waiting for some news to come in pertaining to this, and I feel like it will bring you joy, but it's going to require you to make a decision, okay? Some of you may have a cat. I see a, a black cat here. Some of you may have a black cat. Or a black cat may be a messenger. It may, this black cat, or it may send you some type of good news or something. There's a message surrounding a black cat for someone. And I know people are superstitious and they say, oh, black cats are bad luck or whatever. There is no luck. <laughs> you know, we get messages from all different types of animals, insects, Living, whatever living thing there is, you can get it from a billboard, somebody's license plate. We get signs and wonders from everything. So some of you have um, a message coming through an animal and you're going to have to make a decision. All right. So I feel like in the past, 
with this nine of pentacles. Again, I see someone here working a lot. It's like someone here is trying to create some financial independence, some financial stability. And yes, you have to put the work in before you can play, relax, and sit down. But someone here is, I feel like, is overworked. And I'm hearing like, take a break because if you don't, your body will let you know it's time to sit down, okay? It's like right now you may be energetic and even with the Knight of Wands here, this is flighty energy. Someone here is all over the place and it's the same energy that I felt shuffling the cards. Someone is all over the place. It's like someone here is chasing money. Don't chase the money, attract the money. When you chase it, it's going to run from you. Money is a physical thing. It's just um, it's just a piece of paper. It's a Federal Reserve note. It doesn't, it's not backed by anything. It doesn't have any worth. But currency is energy. So maybe change the mindset from I gotta get this, this money, or I gotta chase this bag, or I gotta get, 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 get. No. Change it to, I have to attract financial currency, okay? It's like the wording have to be changed because whatever you're thinking, whatever words you're thinking, whatever you're speaking out into the atmosphere is what you are um, manifesting. So if you're constantly saying, I got to get this bag, I got to get this money, and you're chasing it, you're going to forever be chasing it because you keep saying, I got to get this bag or I got to get this money. And that's why some of you are feeling stressed out, worried, stressed out, feeling like you're doing all this work and you're putting all this work into whatever it is that you're trying to create and you're not getting anywhere because you're chasing it and not attracting it. Let it come to you. So someone here is stressed out, worried, up all night because someone here is chasing a bag, they're overworked. They're not able to reap the rewards of their hard work. They're not able to take a seat or, you know, take a vacation or take a time out for themselves. And it's because everything is work, work, work. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with work, but make sure you have balance. And someone here, there has been some delays. Okay. There's been delays. Someone here could be going through a storm, could be going through some type of transformation. And Aries, this is your energy. This could be you going through a storm, going through some type of transformation, suffering in silence, okay? Because you want some type of change and you want it now. You're a fire sign. So it's like, I everything, I got to have it now. You don't have to have it now. <laughs> Patience is a virtue, so you fear, you have a fear here that something's not going to move forward in a timely fashion. And see, this is, this is, again, everything has to be a rush, rush, rush. Someone here wants something now in, in spirit. The universe is, is holding it up. Spirit is holding it up. That's why this hangman is here. Pisces energy. There's a, a standstill because spirit is wanting you to be patient in this season. Someone here needs to be patient because you have it here. You're hoping for success. You're hoping for stability. This is someone here still focused on the financial security, prosperity, growth, so that they can sit and reap the rewards of their hard work. Look at that king sitting there reaping the rewards of their hard work. That's where you want to be. You, it's, it, you want to be the leader that sit back and watch from afar what's going on. But it's going to require you to kind of like, you got to balance out your energy. I do see in your outcome some type of unexpected change taking place. I will clarify that just to see what this unexpected change is. What's this unexpected change? And even with the eight of wands, eight of wands is fast, rapid movement. What is this? Um, why is this eight of wands here? Star card, Aquarius energy. Something here that's going to require you to make a decision to, to either hold back 
or to put the work in. And for some of you, I see you holding back. You're holding back because in you holding back is going to create some type of balance. And I do feel like you're on the verge of um, things getting better for you. But some of you need to take a rest. It's like you may need to go on vacation before this um this new mindset comes. This new mindset is activated. You may need to uh, sit at home for a little while. Vacation, whatever it is that you do, meditate to clear your mind and to clear your energy. When you come up out of it. There's going to be balance and you are, your, your spirit is going to be renewed and you're going to be able to hear your intuition loud and clear. Like, what's the next thing for you to do? All right. So that's what I have for you, Aries. I'm going to move on to Leo's next. Let's see what's going on with the sign of Leo. If any of this is resonating or you just want to show some support to the channel, hit the thumbs up image. All right, let's see, Leo's general read for Leo. Leo, some of you feel stuck. <laughs> you may feel like uh, something is stuck in your, your communication. Some of you are feeling stuck, honey, okay? These cards are not even coming together right. Let me know if you are feeling stuck, Leo. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but I'm just, I'm laughing. Sometimes when readers, when we read, we, we are like laughing because we can feel the cards, the energy in the cards through the shuffle. <laughs> okay. Leo, three of cups, queen of wands. Oh, what is going on, Leo? Oh, someone here is having regrets, crying over spilled milk. What's going on? Ugh. All right, let's see. What else is here for Leo? Supposed to be watching a football game, but I mean, I think I know who's going to win, so. Some of you may be dealing with a cancer. You have the chariot at the bottom of the deck. All right, let's see. Leo, you want to come together with someone or someone wants to come together with you. It could be a cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or another Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. But I feel like someone wants to come together. I feel like this is you wanting to come together or collab or partner up with someone. Okay, you're ready to take action towards this person, but you may feel stuck. That's the energy that came out in the shuffle. I feel like in the past, there was some type of give and take reciprocity. There was a partnership or connection. I feel like it was not, this connection was not balanced at all. And it caused someone to feel overwhelmed. It caused someone to feel frustrated. It caused someone to become impatient because there was a lack of balance in this union. Someone felt like they were not prioritized here. And I feel like it created sadness, frustration, disappointment, a lack of balance. And that's why this regret is here. Now someone here is in regret. Crying over spilled milk. Because of some type of breakup, abandonment, there could be um, someone experiencing um, the loss of a relationship. That's what it looked like. Someone here said having regrets over the loss of a relationship. And I feel like it's because someone here moved on. Because something was not balanced. <clears throat> and right in the near future. I feel like we got to leave Retar's energy here. Someone here wants to nurture this situation back to life. 
want something to evolve, want to take action, want to um, accomplish a goal to move forward in this union. Someone here could also be pregnant. This could be the mother or father of your children wanting to move forward or wanting to nurture this situation. Someone here could be pregnant. Someone here is definitely ready to invest some time into this union because they're ready for something to grow. But there's a fear here that they, they're they not going to be able to take action. Leo, this is your energy. Knight of Wands. You're in fear that you're not going to be able to move towards this person. Or there's a fear here that things are not going to move forward because you got the page of cups. Someone here is not able to give to this union. Someone here is not able to give to this union with this page of cups. This is someone like giving a bare minimum or giving immaturely. Um, there could be an age gap here, but I'm seeing like flighty energy. Someone is in fear that the person that they're dealing with is a player. They're like all over the place here, there, everywhere. Papa was a rolling stone, the cleanup woman. Apply the energy as it fits to your story. Someone here is in fear that they're only getting a friends with benefits. Okay. And here we go with this, this third party energy. This is thir a third party. Someone feels like their person is collaborating. Look at this. Three of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Someone here is feeling like their person is collaborating with someone else. And that's why and it's creating delays, heartbreak, sorrow, arguments, fuss and fighting, depression, confusion. Because they're being breadcrumb. They're get they're um receiving like a friends with benefits. And this is the reason why this person walked off or cut cut the situation loops. There, someone here is not benefiting in any kind of way. Like, it's not working. Okay? So, that's what I have for you, Leos. Someone here is in a third party and someone checked out of it. And I feel like it was the third party checked out of it and moved on. So, that's what I have for you. That was clear. All right, let's move on, Sagittarians. Sagittarians. Let's see what's going on with the sign of Sagittarius. What is going on with the Sagittarians? General energy for Sagittarians. General energy for the sign of Sagittarius. Mm, one more. Okay. General energy. Okay. Take them how they come out. Sagittarius, it looks like some of you could be holding back from someone or someone's holding back from you. But let's see. Yep. You could be on a fence about, like, offering someone love. So you could be holding back because you're not sure, like, if you should go towards someone. But let's see. Let's see. All right, so you're in your power. Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck right now. This could also be some of you um, saving your money at this time because you want to um, start a new creative endeavor. You have a proposal. Okay, some of you could be putting an offer up for a home, an offer up for a car. But I see someone here holding or managing their money wisely because you want to invest your money. Or this could be love, applied as if it's to your story. But you could be holding back from love at this time because you want to make sure that when you do invest, you're investing in something that's going to be worth your while. Okay? And right now, well, I'm sorry, in the past, I feel like you were, you could have been rushing things or trying to rush things or someone, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, could have been rushing 
a relationship. Someone here could have been rushing, trying to see clarity in a situation. Could be a Taurus or a Libra. Someone could have been rushing, trying to get answers to something. Rushing for a high level of commitment. Rushing into a marriage. Okay? And it um, it caused you to, to, hold, to hold back. Okay? And that goes back to this energy that came out. Holding back until you find out if this investment is going to be good for you and not for the other person. So you're in your power. You're in control of things. Okay? You're not allowing anyone to control the pace that you want in a relationship or how you want to spend your money. Right now, again, you're balanced. Like, you don't really have any issues. <laughs> your, your, your finances are balanced. Your relationships are balanced. You're not committed to anyone. So some of you could be dating multiple people and, and be, until you figure out or realize who is who is best for you. You're not allowing anyone to make this decision for you because I feel like you're operating in your power. In the near future, I do see some type of ending that's going to create some type of disappointment. Some type of um, betrayal is here. I see a crisis. Or this is you making the decision to hold back in a relationship because you've experienced some type of pain in the past, a painful ending, um, a crisis, a failed relationship. You have wounds that need to continue to be healed. So some of you are in a healing process from being stabbed in the back in the past. And that's why you're not rushing into this union because you fear toxicity. You fear being attached to someone like that right now. You fear that someone is going to have secrets trying to keep you in the dark about some things. And you're waiting for your intuition to let you know or to lead and guide you and tell you that it's okay to open up and offer someone your heart again. To offer someone love again. And you're not moving forward any faster than what your intuition is telling you. Okay? And then in your outcome, because... You decided to take control of your destiny, the will of karma. I see good karma turning in your favor. Good luck turning. Well, not luck, but blessings. Um, there's a turning point coming your way. Your downs that you had are going to be ups. Okay. And I feel like there are going to be a lot of unexpected things that happen, but it's because you released a lot of things from your past that caused pain and you are embarking on a new life. So the will is turning in your favor and, and your outcome because you're in control of things now. You're no longer letting things, people, and places control you. Okay? You're no longer making things or people an idol. And for some of you, you realize that you are the prize. You are the one that's in control. And that's why the will is turning in your favor. All right. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Cancer's energy is here as well. We have Virgo's energy. Let me know if you are dealing with any of those signs. Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, Virgo. All right, water signs are up next. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And that order. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I kind of messed those up. You heard me. I said I messed those up. Yeah. It was the oil. Something was off with that oil. All right, let's see Cancer's general energy for the sign of Cancer. Thank you to everyone for pressing the thumbs up image. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Cancer. 
<laughs> okay, Cancer. I feel like some of you have a lot on your mind. Some of you have a lot to say to someone. A lot on your mind. Aquarius energy is here. There's a lot on your mind. A lot you want to say. Your emotions could be all over the place right now, but you may be holding back. Some of you are holding back. You got the death card here. So Scorpio's energy is here. Scorpio energy is here strong. Some of you either have Scorpio in your chart or you have a Scorpio moon sign. If you are a Cancer with a Scorpio moon sign, ooh, emotions. What's that song? Mm -hmm. I love an emotion. Emotions taking me over. Caught up in sorrow. Lost in the... Mm -hmm. That's what I hear. So some of you cancers are in your emotions. And if you will come back, come home to me, darling. Don't you know? Mm -hmm. All right, so some of you are in your emotions because you are hoping, wishing, praying, and trying to keep faith in the relationship. Trying to have faith that things are going to get better. You're trying to, um, could be going through some type of transformation. You could be going through some type of spiritual growth, personal growth. Um, but you overall are wanting something to transform and get better. Could have something to do with an Aquarius. All right, you are, um, Wanting to overcome some obstacles. You wanted to overcome something um, pertaining to your finances. This could be something pertaining to a relationship. But you're definitely want to, wanting to overcome some obstacles. So if you are emotional, you have a reason to be emotional. It's because you are wanting to overcome some challenges, a challenge in time. In the past, I fear, I mean, in the past, not I fear, I don't fear, no. <laughs> in the past, in the past, you could have been in some type of negative thought process, some type, type of negative mind thinking, feeling like you were restricted, you were in prison, some type of mental imprisonment due to something here needing to end. You wanted something to end in a cycle with someone or something. Could be a Scorpio. And you wanted something to start over. You wanted, I feel like this is you wanting something to start over or transform in a relationship. Okay? And I feel like because it looks like this is in a process of transforming, it may not be over. Like the transformations may still be in process. You feel like your hands are tied. You don't know if you're coming or going. And with the judgment card here, I can't really show this card because the people don't have any clothes on and they didn't change the policies and the procedures and the terms and conditions on here. So you can't show everything anymore. But you are, um, I see right now you're thinking about a new phase, an awakening, a new, a rebirth, a new you. Okay. So some of you are, you may have went into isolation in the past. This could be like um, the death of the old you and a rebirth of a new you. So if you were feeling emotional or if you are feeling emotional, it could be because you're in the process of transforming into something new, someone new. You're seeing yourself as someone else. You're, you're laying aside or putting down the old ways of being. And I just said that in another reading, like in 2024, like people are visualizing and transforming into their higher self, no longer putting up with nonsense. And in the near future, I see you gaining balance again. You're balanced. You are um, presenting yourself as someone new. Some of you are focused on your finances. You're creating some type of financial security, financial balance here, okay? Um, I do see you giving. Like, you could be giving to multiple things or multiple people in the near future, but that's because you're a generous sign, okay? And this is your way of showing gratitude for what you have is by giving and sharing with people. But you're not going to 
where in the past you may have been allowing these people to take advantage of you. You're not allowing them to take advantage of you in the future. All right. You fear that your emotions are going to be all over the place. This is what you're, you're in fear of. Because again, some of you, your emotions were all over the place. Especially if you have a cancer sun sign and a cancer moon sign. Because your moon sign is your emotions. Okay, but I do feel like you are moving forward. Some of you have a fear that your emotions are so connected to something or someone, you have a fear that you're not going to be able to move forward or move on. And you're hoping that you can go towards a new, a new beginning in love. You are hoping that you can start over. You're hoping that for some of you, there's a baby here. Some of you may be pregnant. Some of you may be getting married. But you're hoping that you can have new feelings towards a person or a thing. Okay? And I feel like the universe is gifting you with something. This new beginning is a gift from the universe because of what you went through in your past. Okay? But again, you got the food car here in the reverse. So some of you are going through this transformation. Okay? And you are going to be presented a new opportunity to move forward in a new direction. But with this full card in the reverse, Aquarius Aries energy, you are some of you are not going to move forward. And that's what I'm seeing. Someone here will not move towards a new beginning out of fear of the unknown. All right? So... Some of you may be in a codependent relationship or you're codependent on a job, codependent on a family member. There's some codependency here. But I'm going to leave it at that. And I'm going to move on to the next sign, which is Pisces. The next sign up is Pisces. All right, general read for the sign of Pisces. When I'm reading for the sign of Pisces. in a reverse. All right. Okay, we got quite a few cards coming out in a reverse for Pisces. Pisces, someone could have spoke some words and this is for some of you. Some of, Someone could have spoke some words about you or against you. And I feel like those words either boomerang and went back to that person. That's what I'm getting. Like someone spoke some words about you and the words backfired. Some of you are rejecting someone. Someone here wants your attention. Okay, these two cards came out. Someone wants your attention and you're rejecting them. Let me just get a sip of water here. I'm sorry. Okay. That's for uh, some of you. Someone here wants your attention and you're rejecting them. And I feel like you're rejecting this person because they could be negative. This person could be negative. They hurt you in some kind of way. So you moved on. And now they want your forgiveness. And they're waiting and watching for the re for your return or vice versa. Someone is waiting and watching for your return or this is vice versa. Apply the energy as it fits to your story. I feel like in the past there was some type of delays. Someone here was holding back, holding off from saying what they wanted to say, from traveling towards you. 
okay? This was a missed opportunity in the past because someone was either being too lazy or they were waiting for you to come towards them or you were waiting for this person to come towards you. But something here came full circle and it put an end to this situation. And now I feel like you've moved on or they moved on. All right, someone has moved on to their peace and their harmony. They freed themselves from this situation. They freed themselves from going around in a circle um, with someone and it wasn't really getting anywhere. Someone freed themselves from waiting, freed themselves from lack of communication, freed themselves from a new opportunity. This is a missed opportunity. And in the near future, I see with the full car, Aries and Aquarius energy, there's a new um, beginning here. This is a new beginning coming your way. <clears throat> now, you fear that this new beginning is going to come with challenges, as every new beginning, okay? You fear that you may lose control. You fear that you're going to be on a defense because of what happened in the past. There's a fear here that someone is going to try to control the dynamic of your, your, um, your growth, what you do, what you say. Okay, someone there's fear here. Someone's going to have their defense up. Okay. And you're hoping that you'll be able to recover from all of this. And I feel like you are. I do see you recovering from this. But I feel like it's going to be a slow recovery because... Some of you are feeling weighed down, and you could be feeling weighed down because of your work, okay? There are some type of delays. I feel like they, like if this person is trying to come back, and this is a new beginning with this person, you're moving slow. You're contemplating because I feel like this person has put you in a place where you don't trust them. There's a lack of trust here, okay? And... I feel like although, although you're still passionate about moving forward with this person, you're looking at this situation for what it is. Like, this person could be a, um, full of you-know-what. That's what I'm getting. They could be full of you-know-what. So, I feel like you're going to take your time. And you're going to wait and watch and see how they move. You're going to make them put their mouth where their money is. <clears throat> All right? All right, let's see. I'm going to go on to... That was straight to the point. Wasn't that long. I'm going to go on to Scorpio. Scorpio. Let's see. Sign of Scorpio. What energies are here? What a sign of Scorpio. General read for February of 2024. What's the general energy for Scorpio? February of 2024. All right. General read for the sign of Scorpio. 2024, three of cups. Scorpio, I feel like some of you are in the process of making a decision about love. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. A Pisces. Could be dealing with another Scorpio. I'll just pick one from the bottom. Yep. You're um some of you could be dealing with someone that is deceptive. Someone that betrayed you in some kind of way. Someone that who thinks that they're getting away with something, but they're not. <laughs> okay? Or you walked away from someone that was deceptive in that energy. Right now, you could be wondering or thinking about asking someone out on a date. This is um, the Three of Cups and the Five of Cups. 
I feel like you may be thinking about asking someone out on a date, but you may be wondering if they're going to reject you or vice versa. Okay? Because right now it's like you're happy, you're spending time with someone, you're coming together, you could be communicating a lot, sharing your emotions. There's like a good friendship, a good partnership, a good connection here at this time. And some of you are wondering if this is going any further. But I feel like in the past, again, I see a new beginning in love between you and this person. But it's surrounded by a lot of confusion. And I feel like it's surrounded by a lot of confusion because there are multiple people. And they're five of um, wands cards. So it's creating conflict. And for some of you, this is you feeling like or wondering if you want to move forward with this person or in this situation, if they're going to reject you in the near future. Some of you need to do some shadow work because I feel like there may be a temptation here. This person may tempt you in some kind of way. You may be addicted to them or codependent on them. Okay? And remember, this can be vice versa. So there's a fear here. With a Pisces or Capricorn, that things are going to be stuck, suspended in the air, and not move any farther. Okay? There's a fear here of letting go of this union and moving on because you may not be wanting to feel defeated. So some of you, I mean, Scorpios, you are a fixed sign, and fixed signs usually don't let go of relationships quickly because fixed signs, use, tend, fixed signs tend to think that they can fix the relationship. Okay, so you don't, you're not going to really um, let it go. You, you tend to think that you can fix the relationship or that um, your mind is fixed on the relationship, one or the other. And with the death card here, some of you, Spirit is saying, it's time for you to put that thought process to an end so that change can come and there can be a new beginning and there will be an end to this cycle. Because you do have the tower card here, which which represents you have the death card and a and the tower card here. Both represents change taking place in your life. So there is some type of change. There is some type of epiphany. What is this um this sudden change that's taking place? <clears throat> Something's coming to an end. But as soon as you release this person's energy. Look what you have after that, the Ace of Pentacles. You have something new and stable coming your way. Abundance. And this is a gift from the universe. Because you would have walked away from this third-party situation because this person could be dealing with someone else because there are people in this car, and that's where the confusion comes into play. So I feel like there's going to be, there is going to be a completion of a cycle. But in that completion of a cycle... You have a new beginning, a new beginning coming your way. Something that is stable, something that is long term, something that will grow with someone that you can build with. There's a new offer coming your way once you release this confusing situation. All right. So that's what I have for you, Scorpios. I'm going to move on to the sign of Capricorn. We got fire sign. I mean, not fire signs, earth signs next. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. All right, and that is the last of the zodiac signs. Then I will do a collective read, and then I will be closing this out. All right. <clears throat> Thank you all for joining in. Thank you for watching. Thank you to everyone that pressed the thumbs up image. I appreciate each and every one of you. You helped me out a lot. If you want to, you can also post the time in the chat section that your um, reading starts. If you can, if you want to, you can. If you don't want to, that's fine as well. But let's see. Careful for once. Capricorn. We got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo next. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Right now we are on the sign of Capricorn. What is the general energy for Capricorn? For February of 2023, Capricorns, you got the star card in a reverse. Some of you are losing hope in a situation. There's a lack of faith here, a lack of communication. 
you may not be wanting to take a risk right now. So some of you could be retracting your energy from someone at this time. Could be an Aquarius, uh, an Aries, or a Gemini. Let me know in the comment section if you're dealing with an Aquarius, Aries, or a Gemini Capricorn. I feel like in the past, there was an opportunity to, to rebuild. This person could have been giving you a lot of attention or you them. Okay, I have to say that. Apply the energy as if it's to your story. Someone here in the past was getting a lot of attention. Okay, I see someone here getting a lot of attention. And it may have come to a screeching halt. Something here could have been moving too fast. So now, I feel like with this, this star card in the reverse and the fool card here, someone here is losing faith. And someone here is not wanting to take a, a risk or a leap of faith. I'm trying to remember how the hell the cards go. <laughs> All right, I need one more for here for the outcome. One more. Now, why am I hearing that song? What's that song? Um, mm -mm. Can we? Oh, I think, is it just one? Something about can we find... Can we find a, can we find a, wait a minute, let me say, can we find a way to make this right? Can we find a way to make this right? Let's make it last just for one more night. So some of you are in a situation with someone and you want it to last or you want this to last for one more night and someone here may have pulled back in this situation. So in the past, again, I see someone here giving their attention all of their attention to this situation, okay? And you may have felt like this was some type of progress. You, there was a promotion here, like things were moving forward. You were moving towards a commitment. And right now, you may feel like you're being breadcrumbed. Page of Pentacles. You're getting the bare minimum. You're get, getting breadcrumbed. You are starting back from the beginning. You got to put the hard work in all, the, all over again, okay? I do see in the near future, someone balancing this out. So your person or you could have retracted the energy from this situation because someone's emotions got caught up. Someone got in their feelings and realized that they had feelings for you or you realized you had feelings for this person and someone poured their energy back. Okay. And that's what's here. There's a fear of a new beginning. There's a fear of a new beginning because someone feels like if they move forward in this, it's not going to work out. They feel like they're going to lose themselves <laughs> if they move forward in a commitment. They're going to lose their happiness. They're not going to be able to do the things that they want to do, the things that they love. So now this person, someone here is holding back. But I feel like this is you being patient in this situation. So some of you may realize or you know that this person is holding back because they're in their feelings. This person got it bad. That's what I'm hearing. You got it. You got it bad. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hang up and you call right back. I don't know the words to none of these songs. <laughs> but someone here... Is one in, I see this in your outcome balancing out. Could be a Sagittarius involved. The balance is coming your way. Balance is definitely coming your way. Um, I do feel like things will grow in due time. This person, uh, some of you are going to have to move slow with this person. You got the three of wands at the bottom of the deck. So first of all, some of you are at a distance from this person. There's distance here. There will be progress. And forward movement. But for some of you, you have to think that way. And this is this situation with this person is going to require you to be patient. Because this person cannot believe that they have been bit by the love bug. <laughs> this person was not prepared for you 
or you weren't prepared for them. Someone was, wasn't prepared for this, this, this type of love. Someone thought or felt like this was going to be like a fly by night of friends with benefits. And they felt like they weren't going to catch feelings. Someone here court feelings. Someone here court feelings. And now it's time for them to make a decision and they're scared as shit. Okay. Because they're afraid that they're going to have to give up the lifestyle that they have and incorporate you in their life. Or you're going to have whomever it is that is afraid and retracted their energy is afraid. They're going to have to incorporate the other person into their lifestyle. And they're trying to figure out how the hell they're going to do it. Because they, they're, they could still be dealing with other people. Okay, they still may have be maybe leaving their options open, but this person is afraid because they know the only thing left after going out, having a good time, spending quality time together, saying I love you, hugs, kisses, and all of that. The next thing that's on the table is where is this relationship going? And this person is trying to avoid that conversation. By all means necessary. So instead of them having that conversation, they retracted their energy. All right, Capricorns? So that's what I have for you. Apply the energy as it fits to your story. I'm moving on to Taurus. Let's see. Thank you for the thumbs up. I appreciate it. I don't know who, I don't see anyone's name. I can't see, but I see the number going up. So thank you. Taurus. We got Taurus and then we have Virgo. Taurus, Virgo, and then a collective spread. And then we are going to close this bad boy out. Taurus. What's going on with Taurus? One more for Taurus. Let's get one more. Taurus, I don't know why I feel the need to knock on these cards. Some of you Tauruses may be stubborn. Someone's being stubborn right now. Let me know, Taurus, in the comment section if someone is being stubborn. Someone got a hard head or don't listen or something like that. You said, how? Leo, hello, how are you? I mean, um, I was trying to read your comment, but I don't quite understand what it says. I see how and Leo. But how are you? Thank you for joining. Oh, you know what? I did Leo already. Yep, I already did Leo's. So you will probably have to go back. Because I have not posted the times yet. I have to wait until I get off the live. You know what? I didn't do that right. <laughs> All right, let's see. Sorry, some of you could be dealing with a cancer. Some of you are seeking the truth in a situation. You want someone to be honest. Some of you may be <clears throat> contemplating on working on it on a relationship, or this is you contemplating what you want to do as far as your work. Some of you may have turned down a job offer be because it wasn't enough money for you. Some of you rejected working on a relationship. Could be because the person you are dealing with is hard-headed. You feel like this person is hard-headed. <laughs> or you butt heads or you clash. In the past, I feel like you were nurturing a situation. But you were trying to figure out what was your purpose in this. Some of <clears throat> Some of you are trying to figure out what's your purpose in a relationship. 
you be you could be questioning and questioning like why why the hell am I here? That's what I hear. Someone saying why the hell am I here? <clears throat> Yeah, and right now, you're thinking about going to some towards something new, something that's limitless. Okay, something that makes you feel excited, powerful. You feel free. Okay, something that's going to activate a new you, activate um the creative side of you, something that you're passionate about. That's what you're thinking about now. All right, with the star card Aquarius energy in the near future, you're just hoping things get better. You're hoping that you have a renewed mind. You're trying to be vulnerable. You're trying to be open. But you are going through an, a stage where you are growing personally and you're developing new skills and a new mindset. Yeah, this is a renewal taking place. So some of you are going or going through some type of transformation. But you fear walking away from a union. You fear walking away from a union. You fear some of you um are in fear of this. I feel like it's because this union was some called created some type of balance in your life. It created some type of balance in your life. For some of you, this is a marriage or a long-term commitment. And I feel like you and this person may have been together for some time. So there was definitely like a balancing of energies. But you are thinking about going towards some, something or someone new. It's like you're ready to create a, a something new. You're ready to do something new. But you are in fear because you... You don't want to create an imbalance for yourself. So you're hoping that this decision that you make is the right decision for you and everyone involved. So I feel like you're not really doing anything as of yet. It's just a thought in your mind, but you're not acting on it. You're being patient in order to maintain balance in the situation that you are currently in. Because you're trying to, you want to make sure that when you go towards this new that there is the, a purpose behind it. You don't want to just move forward or move on if there is no purpose. You want to do it with purpose so that you create good karma. Okay? So, yeah. That's what I have for you. That's what I have for you, Taurus. That's why you're not moving anywhere. Because you're not doing anything without purpose. If it doesn't have a purpose, you're not going to do it. All right? All right, let's see. Virgos. Virgos. I did not do the readings in the order that the signs, the zodiac signs usually come out. I did them in my own way. So that's how I did my all sign. So let's see. Virgos. Let's hear for Virgos. General Energy 2024. Virgo's general energy for 2024. Virgo's general energy for 2024. And then we are going to do the collective, a collective spread, and then close out. Virgo's general energy for Virgo's 2024. Okay, let's see. Oh, so Virgo, some of you, you're not holding back anymore. Some of you are not holding back or someone around you is not holding back. Could be a, a Scorpio or an Aries. Yep, this is you. No longer holding back. Capricorn's energy is here. <clears throat> That's not Sagittarius. I'm sorry. We got Sagittarius, Aquarius, Aries, Scorpio. 
some of you have your defense up or someone has their defense up. But I feel like you're not holding back. You're definitely not holding back. Um... Someone here, I see possessiveness. There's some type of unexpected chaos. Someone's walking away from something. Okay, I feel like the foundation of a union is coming apart or coming down. Someone's walking away from something. I feel like in the past, there was an emotional connection here, but someone here could have been breadcrumb, got the bare minimum. Got the bare minimum. Something here just was not moving forward. Someone was taking their time, being immature. And right now, all you're, all you're thinking about is having a good time. Getting out of this chaos and having a good time. Recovering. That's what you're thinking about. Recovering from a loss. Recovering from a relationship. Recovering from something that just put you in a negative space altogether. You learned your lesson and now you're ready for some type of positive change. Okay? You fear. You fear that um, going towards something new, this could be romantically is going to cause you to feel like you're going around in circles because of the chaos that happened in the past. Okay? There was some type of chaos in the past that you walked away from or either this person walked away from. And you may be in fear that it's going to happen again. But I feel like it's not because you have the star card here. So that means that you are... Um, you're hoping... That things are better this time. Your faith is at an all-time high. And you're realizing that this is a new situation. This is not the old situation. Okay? So I feel like you are feeling overwhelmed because you have the two of pentacles and a reverse. So you, there's an imbalance here in your outcome. But this imbalance that's here is because you are causing yourself to feel overwhelmed about taking a leap of faith in a new direction with um a lover you're afraid that it's not going to grow or you're afraid that this person is going to hurt you like the person in the past and you're not giving this person um a chance to show you who they really are okay some of you have um placed this person as a failure or the relationship as a failure and it hasn't even gotten off the ground yet could be um an aries aquarius gemini libra or taurus Scorpio's energy is here as well. All right. All right. So that's what I have for you, Virgos. I'm going to go on and do the collective spread. I am going to move on and do the collective spread and close this out. If it resonates, comment in the comment section below. Let me know. Also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up image. It helps the video circulate. Also, lets me know you support this channel. Also, let me know if you like the all sign reads. I decided to do all signs because I feel like I will get more views that way. And I was ready, honestly, to cut off some of the zodiac signs. So, I figured I'd just do the all signs. All signs. And that will incorporate those other signs that have the lowest views that will incorporate those signs within. All right, let's see. Collective. What's the energy for the collective? What is the energy for the collective? Virgo's energy is here. The energy for the collective... Someone feels like they're in the dark about something or someone's intuition could be nudging at them. All right. Someone's seeking the truth. Someone is seeking clarity, seeking the truth, trying to listen to their intuition. 
okay? Waiting on a message. Someone's trying to decode a message. Trying to read in between the lines if that makes sense. So there could have been a text message that came through and now you're trying to figure out exactly what it is that this person is trying to say or you're waiting for a message to come through that will bring forth some type of clarity. Could be from a Pisces. There was some type of pause in the past. Some of you may have let up go of a relationship from someone that was manipulative. They were all talk. Okay, no, no damn action. They were a gossiper. They gave out bad um, information. They were devious. Okay, some of you walked away from someone in that energy. And right now, you're wanting to move forward. You may have walked away from that energy so you can manifest some good karma in your life. Yeah, because I feel like in the near future, I just see you walking away from deceptive energy. People that are dishonest, they're negative, they, um, they're frauds, okay? Walking away from it. You fear that you're not going to be able to stay away from these people, stay away from these situations, okay? That's your fear. That they're going to have some type of, um, for some of you, you may have only been around people that thought negatively or they gossiped about people or, you know, they just did things that, that to contribute to you being stuck or feeling stuck. You feel like you're not going to be able to get away from those people. You're hoping that you can maintain control of over yourself, over your mind, over your actions, over your words. But I feel like some of you are overthinking this. Some of you are overthinking this. Because you got the queen of swords. So some of you, like you want to walk away from these types of situations. You want to cut these people off, but you're not. Let's see why. You want to cut this off, but you're not. Some of these people could be your family, your friends. Yeah, because it's going to require you to have courage. And because you can't foresee the future, it's like you're continuing on in this in, in this, this this group or with this person because you can't foresee the future without these people or this person or this thing. That's what it is. All right? So that's what I have for the collective. Comment in the comment section below. Let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thanks to everyone who pressed the thumbs up image. I appreciate each and every one of you. Be safe. I am sending love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Peace.